Well, hello, Pisces, and welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer. Um, oh, there's Jasmine. This is the lovely and beautiful Jasmine, and Mouse is just out of camera shot. Um, I know, it's gotten really warm, so they've been kind of back and forth, like, laying in front of the air conditioner, coming back in here. I don't know. I'm getting ready to move my office to the next phase, we're going to call it. Uh, my husband and I finished doing a bunch of, like, stuff, like, all these home improvements and renovations and things. So, my office has to be moved for the next 8 to 12 months. I had to move the air conditioner. Um, so, now they're like, well, we're going to go over here with the air conditioner. Yeah, it's funny. So, you know, all of this is just, it's kind of a little chaotic right now. All right, Pisces. Are you ready for this? Because there's a lot going on with you. A lot. This is a reading for the week of March 6th. This is a general reading, Pisces. So if it resonates with you, that's great. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising sign because sometimes you'll resonate more with your moon or your rising sign more than you do your sun sign. All that being said, this is some intense energy that we have going on in Pisces this week or starting this week. Um, starting the week that you're hearing this. On March 7th, we have a full moon in Virgo, but we also have Saturn moving into, you guessed it, Pisces. So if you've seen your monthly numerology, you know that March is a crazy busy time. This is a very pivotal month, astrologically speaking. There's a lot of changes going on, a lot of big changes that are going to affect us for several years. And in Pluto's case, like the next 20. Yeah, that's real. So there's a lot going on here. And I just want to say, this is going to hit you probably the hardest. And it's going to hit all the mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sag, and Pisces. But it's really, really going to hit Pisces. Yeah, because Saturn is going to be in your sign for the next couple of years. So, two and a half years ish um so what we've got here is i'm going to pull a card from the fairy forest deck because i love these cards they're a little bit dark and i dig that so i've been using them a lot lately um i'm going to pull a card from the fairy forest deck and then i'm going to pull the rest from the tarot decks i am trying to see what it is that you need to work out with saturn being in your sign Saturn is going to um, bring to the forefront whatever it is that you need to focus on, whatever it is that you need to work out, whatever it is that you need to put your energy on, Saturn is going to bring this like home. Like what is it that you need to remove? What is it that you need to address? What is it that you need to do? How do you need to grow? What, where, you know, how kind of thing. What, where, how. Yeah, something like that. So let's see what we've got for you today, Pisces, and see what um, what the cards say. Woohoo! Oh, um, Blood Month. Uh, it's a it's a twenty one, so it's a three card in numerology. That's communication. This is sacrifice, offerings, and decisions. This is a little bit perfect. Um, so this is going to be about communication, but it's going to be about what, what have you been sacrificing that you don't need to sacrifice anymore? What is this decision that you need to make? All right. I'm going to park it right there beside my, um, my big chunk of um, amber and see what kind of stuff that we pull for you here. It's, this is a busy, busy month. We we have um, the Sun, Mercury, Neptune, and Saturn will all be in Pisces, and they will all be on the opposite end of this Virgo full moon. 
And full moon means that we're, it's opposing the sun. It's in opposition of the sun. But to have Saturn and Mercury and Neptune kind of coupled with it is uh, it's a little bit harsh here. Yeah. So, and you know, yeah, this, uh, this is, this is going to be some intense stuff. Anytime Saturn's in your sign, it's intense. <clears throat> I am a little worried about the Mercury in Pisces though because Mercury in Pisces is in its fall position and that does not bode well for good communication. We just need to watch it. Okay, so we start off with the six of acorns, which is success and triumph. Very good, excellent. Um, the page of crystals, ideas and discipline. Um, the ten of acorns, responsibility and dedication. The page of feathers, exploration and discovery. Hmm. And the last card, the two of feathers, which is decisions and direction. Now, um, okay, what I see here is that I think for you to be successful, this card is a success, success and triumph. Um, for you to be successful, for you to like get yourself out of a place of sacrificing Whatever this is, like sacrificing your joy, sacrificing your security, your happiness, whatever, for other people or for a job or for whatever this is, to move forward and be in a place of success and triumph, I feel like you're going to have to listen to what is coming into you from spirit. I feel like you really need to be in tune to the messages that are coming in and trying to show you um because the page of crystals is again crystal energy is like pinnacle energy in the traditional tarot the page of pinnacles in the traditional tarot is a bit of a learning curve it's like applying what you've learned it's like learning learning from situations learning from experience and then applying it, applying it to the next experience, applying it to the next phase. But it is about learning. So listening to the ideas that are coming into you from spirit and, and using discipline to say, you know what? I have been here before. It's going to be okay. I need to just plow right ahead. I don't need to ignore it. I don't need to run from this problem. I need to just address it now. Part of the reason why I say that you need to address it now is because the Ten of Acorns, well, and Saturn in your sign, <laughs> um, the Ten of Acorns is taking responsibility and being dedicated to your path. Um, discipline, dedication, decisions, direction, all of this is going to feed this success. If you want to be successful in anything, a, your relationship, your business, your uh, your job, your family, buying a home, leasing a car, I don't know. Um, if you want to be successful at anything, you have to have discipline. You have to have discipline and you have to accept responsibilities not only for your actions, but for, um, for your thoughts, for what you're doing, for your input, for your emotions, and, and be dedicated to your path. Be dedicated to the path that you're on. I feel like spirit is guiding you out of something. I feel like spirit is guiding you out of something and into something better. It's guiding you away from the sacrifice. It's guiding you away from this and bringing you to a place of seeing that you have lots of choices, that you have some decisions. Um, 
the page of feathers both of these are moving cards i just want to say that and by moving cards i mean that in the traditional tarot both of these cards are moving in a, another direction because they're just like this is not where i'm supposed to be i need to go in a different direction that's why i say stay dedicated to your path and continue to move forward as spirit guides you the page of feathers exploration and discovery this is another card that um, is listening to your intuition this is listening to your intuition and doing like looking closely assessing the situation and looking closely at what how you need to move forward I also feel like you're uncovering what what it is that is propelling you out of the situation that's making you sacrifice I feel like there's um, there's something that you're going to uncover because again in the traditional tarot the page of swords which is the so feathers and swords are the same like swords are feathers in this deck in the traditional tarot we see her walking okay in one of the in this deck we see her walking she's built a bridge with her sword and she's walking away because she's listening to the guidance that's being given to her and she's walking away she's documenting what she's doing and she's walking away she's moving in a different direction i feel like there's something that is going you're going to discover that's going to propel you in that direction and it's going to make you feel better about moving um moving in a new path moving in a new place um the two of feathers is about decision and direction it's it's also that um sort of crossroads energy but there's a lot of decisions that i feel like are coming up for you and i don't feel like it's bad the reason why I say that is because I feel like um, the decisions that are coming in for you are are just to show you that you have options. It's just to show you that, you know, even though Saturn's in your sign and even though there's a lot of intense energy going on right now, you have options about what you can do. They're not putting your back up against the wall. They're not saying you have to stay in that job, that house, that car, that relationship, that friendship, whatever it is. You don't have to stay in it. You've got options. Look at what is being presented to you. Look at what direction you want to go into and that's going to help you make a decision. Yeah, because this is about decisions as well. Wow. Some crazy stuff here, Pisces. I mean, I knew this was coming. I did because I'm a mutable sign as well. So I knew this was coming, but I think that I it's a little more intense than I thought. Big changes for all of us, Pisces. Am I right? <laughs> oh, my cards are messed up. But yeah, big changes are coming. Mm. I mean, I'm already changing. Like, right here before Saturn goes into Pisces. I'm making, um, you know, making, make, making sure that my stuff gets moved and situated before we hit this full moon in Virgo and Saturn in Pisces. Because <laughs> as a mutable sign, it's going to hit me too. Mm. Oh, there's some really good stuff here. 
Oh my gosh, there's some really good stuff here. You know, this is fantastic because you do have a lot of cup energy in this in this row. And that's you. I mean, because you're a water sign. This is that's you. So we start out here with the Page of Cups. We move to the King of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. Happy, happy. The Seven of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. Super happy. This is good times. Okay, so we've got the Page of Cups here. And the Page of Cups is like that heart wish. Um, that energy that... It's, it, it's a little bit of the Law of Attraction. It's not as much of an attractor, as much of a magnet as the, the Knight of, of Cups. But it is bringing in, <laughs> excuse me, it is bringing in that heart wish. Um, it's bringing in that energy of, um, this is what I want. This is what's in my heart. And the great thing is, is that here's the King of Pentacles giving some stability to it. The King of Pentacles energy, I love, 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 because I feel like this is, this is his spirit animal. And you can disagree with me. That's fine. This is just one woman's opinion. So I see the balance between knowledge, prosperity, and wealth, and spirit. Having a balance between those things is really important. It provides stability for him. He's okay with who he is. He knows who he is. He's comfortable with that. He's a very practical man, but he's ambitious. He wants to be successful, and he's secure in who he is. Mm -hmm. The next card, the Ten of Cups, I love this card because I, I always think of the Great Space Coaster. It was a show that was on in the 70s and 80s. Um, I used to watch it every morning before school. <laughs> the Great Space Coaster, you're, you're getting on board. And you are going to have just a happy, happy home and family if you choose to go through this. If you choose to walk this path, if you choose to make these decisions that I see you making. But you can change your mind at any time and this could be completely different. So you can really have this. And the thing is, I know you feel like you've lost things before. You've had things taken from you before, like um, a promotion or a job that you knew you deserved or a relationship um, that you lost or whatever. You feel like this has been taken from you. You feel like it's, you know, yeah, you feel like it's been, it's been taken from you and it's made you a little bit paranoid, a little bit guarded. But don't, don't do that. Don't do that. What you want to do is just say, okay, I lost that. I understand what happened. And now I'm going to be on guard for it. So that it doesn't happen again. Not paranoid, but just, you know, standing your ground and going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's just make sure that doesn't happen again. Because I feel like you still have plenty of whatever this is, whether this is confidence or abilities or whatever, but I, I, I feel like you still have what you need. It's just, it's funny, that's a full moon. It's just that, um, you know, you remember the loss, but remember what you still have left because what you have going for you is fantastic. It's fantastic. This is an amazing card because I know this light is looks like it's coming out of her heart chakra, but I ha I choose to think that this is her solar plexus. And the solar plexus energy is personal power, inner strength, confidence, intuition. That's what we got here, Pisces, is happiness. Look, she's found the treasure. She's found the treasure. She's like, yay! She can rise to the surface and take it with her. And I think that is where they want you to be, is having that treasure of life, rising to the surface and taking it with you. Don't sacrifice your happiness or yourself for someone else. 
especially if it's if it's not reciprocal. I do love this though. I love that there's some there's something that you're uncovering. There's something that you're uncovering and you're going to see. Hmm. All right. First of the advice cards from Spirit is El Mora, Awakening Presence. Okay. Second advice card from the animal deck. Don't you just love it when I just sing to you? <laughs> you know, just humming right along to the music in my head. Ooh, goose, quest, travel. I like that. All right, last one from the essential oil deck. Red Mandarin. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. First advice card from Spirit is Awakening Presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Very nice. Very nice. The next card uh, from the animal deck is the Goose Quest or Travel Childhood stories reflect life's quest. Goose uses its own stories to stimulate communication and imagination. That imprints patterns in its life. Wow, that's awesome. Flying from winter to spring represents the fulfilled promises of the quest. As you seek out new worlds and dimensions, going forward like the arrowhead of the V formation. As you seek out new worlds and dimensions. Uh-huh. Oh, I love this. Okay. And the red mandarin is the last card from the essential oil deck for your um, advice. The emotional aspects of uh, red mandarin. It releases feeling overburdened, feeling depleted, or discontent. It instills positivity, joy, and gratitude. It creates gratitude for even the small and simple things. There's joy in creation. The centering thought. Gratitude is a part of my life, and I choose to be positive. I am content. Life brings me many joys. and uh, I'm sorry, brings me joy in many aspects. I like that. Joy in many aspects. Um, the affirmation, why is it so easy for me to feel energized? And the chakras are the sacral and the solar plexus. How about that? The solar plexus. I feel like this reading is all about your personal power. I feel like this is about your inner strength because... They don't want you to make these sacrifices, these unnecessary sacrifices anymore. Um, look at the choices that you have around you. They're not putting your back up against the wall. Look at the choices that you have around you. You have some decisions to make, but I think the decisions, if you stick to this game plan and you work through some stuff, um, especially after you discover what this is, that's 
you know, want it, you're, they're wanting you to move away from or why, um, I think you're going to be in a great position. I really do. I think this is awesome. Even with Saturn in your sign. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, Pisces. I so appreciate your support. I really do on my new channel. Well, it's not new anymore. It's six months old, so. Um, but thank you so much. I really, really, I, I'm thankful. So um, don't forget to check out your monthly numerology. And of course, some of the other shows that I have on my channel. And the most important thing of all, enjoy this full moon and get out there and make your magic. Bye.